Hi, Air Signs, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. Welcome to my channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we are going to find out who has been obsessively spying on you and why. To book a personal reading with me, all information is in the description box below. And today is the 1st of May, 2023. Time here in Bali, Indonesia is 9.08 p.m. Okay, now let's get our reading started. Oh, and please don't forget that this is a collective reading for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. If you were to finally get it to watch this video, this message is meant for you, even if you're dealing with the same sign, all right? Spirits and angels, please show me for Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn who has been obsessively spying on them and why. One card or two? Hmm, okay, just one. Speaking of the devil, page of swords in reverse. Definitely this person is spying on you. Oops. Goals. We've got the Seven of Swords, another sneaky card. <laughs> so this person is definitely spying on you. I'm actually in another room. This is why the setting looks different, because my original room, something something is wrong with the piping. So they need to fix it because the the water in the shower started to like flood. So but anyway, so they moved me to this other room that I'm just here temporarily until tomorrow. They're going to fix it in the morning. But anyway, let's get our reading started, okay? Got the King of Cups here. Definitely strong water sign. A, um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is you. Nine of Pentacles here. This for me is an indication that this person is spying on you because they respect you or that, that they want to... This person wants to steal some information about you or learn from you, Okay? Hmm. I see you have multiple people, actually. Another person could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. See, a lot of swords here. Can you get information or learning? Because sometimes swords can you get knowledge as well. So for those of you, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, if you are very successful or people look up to you, you're really good at what you do. It could be related to work or it could be on your social media. It feels like someone could be copying you, okay? Hence, they could be spying on you. Because Nine of Pentacles here, you're doing something right, right? Nine of Pentacles is a very successful card. And perhaps, you know, you are, for those of you who are very successful, um, or just really good at what you do, okay? You may have inspired this particular person to... <laughs> to copy you. I, I see definitely a copying here because of the seven of swords here. Um, take it as like a compliment, okay? Some of you may not like people copying you because of the nine of swords here. But you have one person spying on you or could be spying on your social media or how you do your work, um, how you do things in general or even how the way you dress. Um, the way you speak, there's definitely a copycat here, okay? So one person, at least, could be obsessively spying on you because, see, the Nine of this person thinks you're perfect or quite perfect, right? You have everything that they admire, that they're looking for. Mm. Yeah, just take that as a compliment. Actually, Ace of Swords is right here. So Ace of Swords can get success as well. So I'm sensing that this person sees you as somebody very successful. And the magician here in my verse is like trying to uncover, maybe trying to figure out your secret to your success. So there's a lot of, you know, spying, a lot of, um, you know, trying to, like, ob ob observing as well. It's like an observation, paying attention to details, everything that you do. Um, yeah, you have one person like that. And you have one more person here. I feel like this is the King of Cups. So this person loves you, cares about you at a distance from you. Three of Wands here. 
I think um, this person wants to see how you're doing. And also, I think this could be someone not of sorts here that you may have been upset with this person at one point in time, this person or vice versa. But there's some anger here, right? Not of sorts. So there's someone who is oh, far away from you. Yeah, three of wands. Makes me feel like it's at a distance. Or that you and this person are not really connected actively right now. Acting distant towards each other. Six of pentacles. I think, again, this is someone you've cared about um, at one point in time. Yeah. So this person could be spying on you because they're trying to get seven of cups here is in one verse. I think they have some questions about your whereabouts or what you're doing right now. So they, I feel like for those of you, earth signs, if you are, or for some of you, if you're, if you're not that active on your social media, they could be trying to figure out what's going on with you, okay? Unless you are active on your social media. I see this person, you know, has a lot of questions about, I keep hearing where are you, where you're at, like maybe um, are you in the country, are you, you know, it's just like your location in general, okay? Um, trying to figure something out here. Because Ace of Swords can indicate clarity as well. So this person wants to see something or confirm something about you. I still feel like it has something to do with where... Okay, it could be a metaphor like where you're at now in life or where you're at now physically, okay? I'm going to pull out a few more cards here. I found in reverse and we've got the five pentacles here in reverse as well. Yeah, so these two cards are kind of sneaky with the page of swords in reverse and the seven of swords here. So you have again one copycat and then you have one who cares, another one who cares about you. And the higher font here in reverse and the nine of swords feels like there is a separation between you and this person here. And I think you, you could still be kind of angry with them or they could be angry with you. But despite the anger here, the King of Cups, you know, is a King of Love. So this person may be quite sensitive. You may have said something that could have hurt this person's feelings at one point in time. But but this person still cares about you because the King of Cups is in an upright position and they want to know what you're doing. Sorry about that. Um, it's my, it's the hotel's host, because I booked this from Airbnb, but anyway, he's calling me, I think, so, never mind, never mind, <laughs> I, I, I left my phone on the, the sound, because tomorrow they're gonna call me to open the door to the other room, for them to like go in and then fix the bathroom and stuff but anyway you know my other room is actually haunted <laughs> i think it wasn't your sign it was air signs reading while i was doing their reading and i shut the door in the bathroom and and it was like the bathroom was literally like shaking i thought it could be the window but it's it's impossible because the window is like all the way up there. I don't know. I don't know. I think it could be haunted, <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, only that one time. So I always just left that door open, uh, the bathroom door open. So it doesn't like, it feels like someone didn't want me to close that door. Like it wanted it to be open. So I just left it open, you know. <laughs> Yep, this is what you get when you, you know, travel so much and you live in, like, different hotels and stuff like that. But anyway, but spirits are everywhere. Four of Cups right here. And we've got the Eight of Swords and then we've got the Five of Pentacles here. I'm going to verse the chariot. I'm going to verse this person thinks about you a lot. Yeah, Eight, eight of Swords. 
um, the one who wants to copy you thinks a lot about you um, constantly getting information about you how to copy you and the other one who loves you and cares about you that you're separated right now at a distance also always thinks about you four of cups maybe you're not too happy with this person at this um, right now okay and then five of pentacles in reverse this person could be thinking about returning um, maybe wanting to speak with you and the chariot here in reverse but i think they are stuck somewhere this person is somewhere else um they want to see you they want to speak with you but i also see them being very far away from you okay this connection was good at first but then it just something happened and then it just stopped that's what i'm seeing here all right i better call this the host back I'm actually a little bit tired. I I probably sound tired. But anyway, the seal reading, I hope you resonated. Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn in some way, shape, or form. If you did, please hit like, share, and subscribe. I'm open for personal readings. If you'd like to book me, my information is in the description box below. Feel free to subscribe to my other channel, Chelsea Vlogs. It's my travel channel. Um, I'm going to leave it on the screen. It says believe it says subscribe to my travel channel yeah you can just click on it it takes you to my other channel which i i've been trying to post very often on that channel as well but anyway take care and i hope to see you back here again later or tomorrow bye